Remember the tools that you saw in Module 3? Well, here's a quick review, since we'll be asking you to choose just one in order to complete an activity in class with your students. These tools can be used for different learning intentions. We'll be listing examples of activities in which you could integrate them, but I'm sure you can find more. In the preparation phase, you can use Padlet to activate prior knowledge. You can also use it to check for understanding, brainstorm vocabulary, share resources, showcase students' work, to receive feedback, to summarize students' learning, or to ask questions. Edpuzzle is a great tool to introduce a topic in the preparation phase. It can also activate prior knowledge, review content, have students predict, and check for understanding. We know building vocabulary is very important in the preparation phase. Quizlet can help students build vocabulary related to topics seen in class, to study vocabulary in various ways, and provide audio and visual support. Another tool you can use in the preparation phase to check for understanding is WooClap. You can use WooClap to activate prior knowledge, brainstorm on a topic, have students predict, check for understanding, to know the distribution of student views, gauge in-class learning, or to ask questions. In the carrying out phase, you can have your students create videos. They could create digital stories, a promotional video, a multimedia timeline, a video lesson or invitation, or an end of project presentation. In the carrying out phase, you can have your students use Canva or Poster My Wall to reinvest information. They could easily create posters, a flyer, a brochure, a public service announcement, or infographics. For competencies two and three, to reinvest information and to write a text in the carrying out phase, you can use Book Creator to create a magazine, a story, a comic strip, a graphic novel, to present information from a research or a project, to create interactive stories, or to teach vocabulary. In the integration phase, it's important for students to reflect. You can use a tool like Flipgrid so students can give you feedback about what they've learned, liked, what strategies they've used in the learning sequence, questions that still remain, how they feel about a task, or how they will proceed to complete a task. You can also observe them in interactions. After reviewing different tools for different learning intentions, it's time for you to choose just one that you would like to try in class with your students. Use your participant booklet to complete the activity.